what we have here is the uh, Tactical Armored Patrol Vehicle, or the Tap D. Uh, the first impression of the vehicle, it's fantastic. For its size, it's actually uh, quite nimble. The British Columbia Dragoon specifically, we use a, a G-Wagon, so it's basically a uh, militarized Jeep. So moving from that to this is obviously a big step up for us in capabilities. It's a pretty big vehicle. It's completely covered in armor, so it maximizes crew protection. It also, for our regiment, allows us to interchange with the regular force with less overall cross-training. This is getting us back under armor. In the Canadian military, guys that wear black berets, uh, we're armored in, in, in the army. And so we have tanks and we have the, the labs, right? Those big eight wheel vehicles. What I've seen so far, and we've been out doing some maneuvers in the bush and cross country and stuff, is that the mobility is fantastic. It's low, it's wide. The side slope is really good, right? So you're not gonna roll the vehicle over. And because the tires are big enough, they're not digging in, you're getting stuck in that mud, right? So the mobility is actually fantastic. A lot of people have been stopping their cars, walking on the street, stopping, taking photos. Hopefully it'll really uh, make people, one, know that we are here, uh, that the Army is in Kelowna and in the Okanagan, and two, get more, uh, more curious about coming and wanting to learn how to drive these. So going through the whole recruitment process and joining the military. We're looking right now for uh, armored reconnaissance crewmen. Uh, we're looking for signalmen, so persons who are more tech savvy and like to work with communication equipment, uh, satellites, big uh, satellite domes like that. We're looking for those kind of guys. And we're also looking for armored officers, so someone like myself or our uh, signals officers as well. So the people who will be doing the commanding, the leading, and the decision making uh, in the field as well as uh, doing the, all the administrative and staff work that is required to do things such as run courses like this and daily operations of the unit. Security reasons, we can't really show you all our sensors and optics and stuff in here, but there are uh, crew protection systems throughout the vehicle, like uh, a fire suppression system with sensors in case there's a fire in either the crew compartment or the engine compartment. Uh, the seats, as you can see, are all roof mounted again, stopped from blast. Uh, there's quite a bit of space. Different variants have different seating capacities based on their job and their role. So we're on the top of the TAP-V and you can see here, this is the crane specifically built to get the spare tire off. Spare tire weighs about 535 pounds, so any other way of getting it off, and especially from a vehicle of this height, is essentially impossible. The people that are driving this are your neighbors, your brothers, your sisters, your girlfriends, your boyfriends. They're the guys who work part-time you know, over here and then they come work for us you know, the rest of the time. So these are people we know. These are people everybody in town knows and now they get to rock in, in this awesome machine. The British Columbia Dragoons actually has received an Afghanistan battle honor uh, that we put on our Gidon, which is like our flag. That's a huge thing because you know, the sons and daughters of the Okanagan stepped up and they went to war. They deployed overseas to Afghanistan. So the fact that we have this vehicle here now is just testament to the dedication of the people in the Okanagan.